Yo, what it do everybody? What is going on? We are back with another video and today we are coming at you guys with a new vlog. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I haven't done anything quite like this before. Uh, you've seen the open gym vlogs. Maybe you follow me on Michael Sports Instagram, uh, just Michael Sports underscore YouTube on Instagram. Maybe you've seen some basketball content over there, but today we've got something extra special for you guys as we're going to be going to Dallas today to check out a semi-pro basketball tryout. Uh, for the Texas Hyenas, I've had pretty close contact with the owner, Jerry Thompson. So we're going to be going to his team's tryout today, interviewing some players, interviewing Jerry. Obviously, y'all are going to get to meet him. And we're going to be covering Texas Hyenas basketball throughout their entire season this year. Uh, it's been a minute since I've put out a video, but I hope that you all enjoyed this one. As always, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on all my platforms, Instagram at MikeHellSports underscore YouTube, Twitter at MikeHellSports, and then my TikTok at MikeHellSports.YouTube. But that's enough talking for me. We're going to go ahead and go on the road, get to Dallas or get to Carrollton or whatever we're going to call it. Um, it's in Carrollton, technically Dallas. I don't I don't really know. I'm just going to follow the map to get me uh, to the court. But give you give you guys some clips, give you guys some interviews, uh, all of that jazz. If you're on the team and you're looking to get more into the channel, make sure to, like I said, hit me up on any of those platforms. Just shoot me a message. I do highlight reactions, anything uh, like that, player interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, but we're going to see some people that are some true ballers, and we're going to also meet Jerry, like I said. But like I said before, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this video. About halfway through the trip, on the highway right now and it is absolutely just absolutely beautiful outside gorgeous here in north texas um, but like i said about halfway there to Carrollton. check out these texas hyenas i've got high hopes for this tryout uh me and jerry thompson we've been talking we've been excited for this thing for i mean let me be honest months now for months now we've been uh getting ready for this ready for for me obviously to pop out and and record some highlights interview some players i think we're gonna see like i said some real ballers today but uh next clip y'all get i'll actually be in the gym for you guys All right, so we got a little snippet there. Adrian Porter talking to the team. If you're familiar with the channel, I've done an interview with Adrian, so y'all might know him. I think they're finna run some fives. We got guys in black jerseys, guys in green jerseys. 
Uh, they're finna run it here, so get y'all some real good action. After the warm-ups, you know, you got to see a little bit of highlights there. But I'm going to get y'all uh, a bunch of this five-on-five -five right here uh, and maybe a little interview with uh, the owner, Jerry Thompson, real quick. familiar with the channel he's been on before we did that interview a little while back Adrian what do you think about what we've seen thus far today uh, man it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's some work that needs to be done um, not, it's not it's not too bad you know it started off rough but after that you know we picked the, picked the pace back up everybody got to run in you know showed their potentials and whatnot um, mainly what I'm looking for uh, this this upcoming season I mean the players that you know I want I want to be running with is People that's gonna hustle, um, give it all that they have, bro. And more importantly, bro, everybody should be a leader, bro, on the team, bro. It doesn't matter who it is. Everybody should be a leader on the team and communicate on and off the floor and just be coachable. So, what do you think about just the organization? Just let everybody know what you think about the organization, what it means, uh, what, how is it different from any other semi-pro team here in the DFW area? Oh man, we kill us, bro. <laughs> we kill us, bro. We, Especially like last year, bro. Uh, if anyone followed us or is familiar with our games, bro, 
we, we, we just we, we come out, we kill us, bro. We all want the same thing, bro, and that's the chip, bro. It's a great organization, bro. Uh, great coaching and staff. And, you know, that's all I got to say about that. I appreciate the interview, Adrian. Guys, I'm out here with Will. Will, you had a good job out there. That's How you feeling about your performance here at the trial? Man, I feel great, man. Body feeling good, shot feeling good, man. We look good as a team, man. We just got to work on some stuff. And uh, how you feeling about uh, the whole Texas Dianas organization? I mean, is this your first time out here with these guys, or you, you've been familiar with them? Uh, no, it's actually my first time, man. It's really like a good organization to me, man, and I'm just here a part of the team. Man. All right, and then what about Jerry Thompson, the owner? Have you had any contact with him? And what do you what do you think about how he's going to run this basketball team? And what makes this team different than teams in the area, than other teams in the area? I right, hear good GM. He's like that. Hey, thanks for the interview, Will. And I hope to see you out there soon. All right, guys, I'm out here with Errol. Errol, you did a good job out there too, man. You got a good-looking jump shot. Uh, how you feeling about your uh, performance here at the tryout? I'm feeling good, man. Just, just taking my time, trying to stay in stride, and, and, and just, uh, you know, roll out the best way I can. And then, uh, how, what's your familiarity with the team? Have like you been with this team before? Is this your first year with these guys? Or what makes them different? What makes this organization different compared to other teams in the DFW area? Man, I just like how, uh, you know, Jerry, uh, you do well in promoting the team. Yes, sir. Um, putting people out there, giving people exposure. I love the gear. The gear is nice as well. Yes, sir. I um, heard about them last year. This is my first time playing with the team, you know, trying out whatnot. Yes, sir. I just want to play at the highest level I can, baby. Yeah, baby, that's it. All right, thanks for the interview, Errol. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm here with Trey. Trey, how you feeling about the performance here at the, uh, the tryout? Oh, man, I do feel like I could have did better. You know, after a while, we learned each other. That's why we came back from down about 11 points. I, personally, though, I do feel like I could have did better, most definitely. Well, you guys definitely started to look good towards the uh, towards the end of that second game. Uh, but what's your familiarity here with the organization, with the Texas Hyenas, with Jerry? And uh, what makes this organization different than other ones here in the DFW area? Well, I'm not too familiar with the organization. I just heard of the organization probably three weeks ago. I'm, I'm coming from playing professionally in Mexico. I came across this organization on Facebook, just adding any and everybody. But what makes this organization different from Mexico is that I'm not in Mexico. Right. So I'm playing with actual uh, uh, more players with potential. As the coaches say, I'm playing with players with more potential. I feel as though we can learn more each other about, more about each other. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for the interview, man. All right, now. All right, guys, I'm here with Chris now. Chris, how you feel like uh, you did here at the trial today? Uh, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I started out kind of slow, uh, missing a couple of shots, uh, a couple of bad passes. But once we settled in as a team, 
uh, and stop trying to play individual ball that we kind of came together and as you can see we came out on top. Yeah, things started to shape up more towards the end there. Uh, what's your familiarity here with the organization with the Tech Zionists and you know, what's your connection like with Jerry and what's different with this team compared to other teams here in the DFW area? Uh, man, Jerry's a good guy. Uh, I was supposed to come out to the trial uh, last year when they had it. Uh, some things came up, but I got in contact with him and told him that I would be out this year. Uh, he's definitely a man of his word, uh, running a good organization here, giving guys opportunities to go to the next level uh, and try to showcase their skills. So I'm just glad to have the opportunity to be here. All right, thank you for the interview, Chris. All right, guys, I'm here with Gabe. Gabe, you did pretty good out there. How are you feeling about your performance here at the tryout? Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, I think you did pretty good as a uh, you know, unit, you know, being that, uh, you know, some new guys and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, what's your familiarity like here in the organization? Have you been with the Tech Zionists? And how long have you known the owner Jerry for? And uh, what makes this organization different from other teams here in the DFW? Uh, well, uh, I don't know too much about the organization as far as like you know how they run and all stuff like that. But I've heard so much news about them uh, uh, in the last couple months playing with the PBA and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, Jerry's a seems like a very really great guy, good coach and stuff like that. Um, I just want to bring as much as I can to the table. All right, guys, I got Sam here, Ruben now. Sam, you did a good job out there. How are you feeling about your performance here at the tryout? Yeah, I feel good, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been trying to get in shape for the past, like, four months. So, you know, I, put, I try to put it out there tonight. So. And then, uh, is this your first time here with the organization? Have you been with them before? Uh, I know Adrian was shouting your name a couple times. Maybe he knows you. And, uh, this is not your first time. And what do you know about the organization? How do you feel about your... Uh, you know, the relationship with Jerry, what he's like as a GM, and uh, what makes this organization different from other teams here in the DFW? Uh, you know, this is a very professional team. Uh, I heard about him last year for him in the PBA. But I, didn't, I, I didn't try out, unfortunately, because I had to go to school. So, you know, I, I was just like, I'm going I'm to wait for an opportunity. And, you know, Adrian, he, he put me on here. So it was a shout out to him. And you know, I'm ready to play if he to to school with me. But I love it here. So I'm ready to get that opportunity. Thanks for the interview, son. All right, guys, I'm here with Tyler. Tyler, how you feeling about the performance here at the trial? Uh, it was pretty good. I was coming off a little sickness, but I did pretty well. And uh, so what's your familiarity with the organization, with the Tech Zion? You know, how much contact do you have with Jerry? And, you know, what do you think about his uh, skills in terms of marketing this and that? Uh, it was pretty good. I just found out about the organization. Yeah, and then, uh, what can you do to make a difference here with this organization, make this one of the best teams in the NBA? Be a better playmaker, a point guard, and overall a team winner. All right, thanks for the interview. All right, I'm here with DJ with the interview. Uh, DJ, how are you feeling here at the trial? Man, I feel good, man. I'm going to get that work in, man. I got to get to it, man. Just want to get my foot though, follow my shot though. It's kind of real. Keep it smooth, though. I mean, what's your familiarity here with the organization, with Jerry, uh, with the whole Texas Giants, and what makes this organization different from other teams in the DFW area? Man, it looks, I'm, I'm not saying it to be honest with you, like, it looks good, I just played with a good team, like, better other teams, like, you know, something like that, too. Yeah, like, see, like, give it to the family, the family, too. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you for the interview, man. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with the owner of the Texas Giants, Mr. Jerry. How did that, uh, how do you feel like the tryout went here today? Oh. We had a pretty good tryout. I mean, we had a decent tryout. Uh, we just really trying to find pieces to the puzzle uh, for the 2022 uh, Swing City League uh, this summer. Uh, the commissioner, Tony Swindle, just put together uh, sort of like the new Drew League in Dallas. So we just trying to um, basically just find pieces to the puzzle um, that we already have for the final season. So we had a pretty good, you know, decent little, decent little team out here today. But the team looks good out there, man. I wish you all nothing but the best of luck uh, here in this upcoming. Guys, that's going to do it for tonight's, or I guess today's video. As it's nighttime out here. I had a pretty good time at the tryout. Got to see some really good hoopers out there. Um, got some good interview experience. You know, first time interviewing people. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on all my platforms. Instagram at MikeLSports underscore YouTube. Twitter at MikeLSports. And then TikTok as well at MikeLSports. Dot YouTube. Uh, more Texas Hyenas content coming on the way. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work.